What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSP for tutorial. This is going to be done by request. I can't remember who asked me to do it. <clears throat> I think it's been a couple weeks ago or so. And this specific person asked me in my comment section on if I could show how to install the California Highway Patrol. Um, the, the California Highway Patrol Pack and I told him I would. So, there is two files that we have to download, guys. A Mega Pack Part 1 and a Mega Pack Part 2. I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, first and foremost, we're not going to be installing, um, you know, every vehicle. Um, but we will install what we need. So, with that being said, guys and girls, the link is in the description for the California Highway Patrol Pack. should be under CHP or something like that. Go ahead and click that link, guys. going to bring you this page right here. Uh, this is the 2017 California Highway Patrol Mega Pack ELS. It is done by the Herc and two others. So the others are Chappie and Taylor Swift. <laughs> so big shout out to the Herc, Chappie, and Taylor Swift for this pack. Uh, as you guys can see, it's a it's a very very nice pack. Um, it does have the BMW uh, motorcycles as well as a, a I think a different type of motorcycle too. Uh, we're not going to be installing the slick tops, guys. We'll be installing the ones with the light bars on them, okay? Uh, so, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, click download here. And you want this file right here, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll zoom in on that for you real quick. You want that file, and then go over here and click download. And then you want to come, you want to come back, and you want to get this file here. Again, I'll zoom in. You want that file right there. And you want to go over here and download the pack. So once you download the pack, one of the packs are going to go like this. And when the pack is done downloading, you're just going to go back like this. You're going to click download again, and you're going to download the other pack, okay? So once you have both packs downloaded, let's go ahead and close out of this. Now, you are going to need OpenIV for this to work. You're also going to need ELS and Scripthook V, okay? Now, if you're playing on a reverted game, as you guys know, Scripthook V is not updated yet. And again, we do not know what it's going to be. Then you are ready to go. If you do not have OpenIV or Scripthook V or um, or ELS, I will link all those videos here in this video. If you look at the right top corner, you will see uh, black links popping up that shows you the links to my videos. Okay, I will also send you to my video on how to revert your game. It's it, if you got cop, multiple copies of GT5, it'll work. Just watch the video, and it will work. Get all your your um, get all your requirements, guys. Come back to the video if you don't have them. But if you're ready to go, let's do this. So let's open up our Open IV, and we are gonna want Windows for Grand Theft Auto Five. That's what we're gonna want. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. Hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life, and that you are in a consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation, as it is always good to do that. Now, first and foremost, when you open up your Open IV, make sure that your edit mode is turned on. Okay, make sure edit mode is on. If you want to be in edit mode at all times, meaning that as soon as you open up your open IV, edit mode is automatically on. You ain't got to worry about it. This is what you can do. You can go over here to tools. You can go to options. Go to the general tab. And if your default work mode here reads like says this right here, if it says read only, change that from read only to edit. And then click close. And then now every time from here on out when you open up open IV, your, your edit mode will automatically be on. Now, with that out of the way, we need to find our vehicle install pathway, okay? There's going to be two pathways we're going to go to, our vehicle install pathway and our ELS pathway, okay? So the first is going to be our vehicle install pathway. Let's go over here to the side column. Again, make sure you're in edit mode. Go to mods. Then go to update, time 64, DLC packs. Then scroll down, okay? And you want patch day 20 right here. Right there, guys, you want patch day 20. Double click that. Double click on DLC.RPF. Then click on time 64. Then levels, GT5, and vehicles.RPF. This is where your vehicle pathway is going to be. Now, I recommend going to favorites in the top of your open IV. Go to favorites, click add to favorites, and just click add. You can add, you can name this anything you want, like replace vehicles. As you guys can see in my favorites right here, I have it named as replace vehicles right there okay now save this okay because we're gonna we're gonna come back i'm not gonna go through pathways i'm just gonna switch to favorites okay so save this in your favorites the second pathway we're gonna need scroll back up in your side column at the top and you should have an els folder right here at the very top you want to click on that els folder then double click on pack default again you want to click favorites 
add to favorites and then just name this whatever you want and save it okay click add you want to click add all right as you guys can see mine is named xml files all right so just make sure you got these saved because we're going to be going like this and i'm going to be going back and forth between pathways like that i'm not going to be going the pathways i'm going to be clicking my favorites and going back and forth like that so let's go to our replace vehicles pathway right here all right and let's open up the part one mega pack of the chp okay and let me pull this over so you guys can possibly see it here uh so in this pack okay there's only certain cars we're going to install uh, as well as the part two, there's only certain cars we're going to install in that pack as well. As you guys can see, I've got both packs here. Um, and there's only certain cars that we're going to install. So, let's start with the Mega Pack Part 1. Again, make sure you have the Mega Pack Part 1 pulled up, okay? And double-click on the 2017 CHP Mega Pack Part 1 folder. And you want to click on Installation Files. Don't worry about this, this, or this. Don't worry about this. Just click on Installation Files. All right? Now, the first thing that we're going to install is going to be our 2011 uh, Ford Crown Victoria, okay? So, in here, uh, you are going to highlight those three police files, okay? And you are going to pull them into your open IV, just like this, and you're going to drop them in, all right? Now, see that folder right above this is ELS? See that right there? Go ahead and double-click on that ELS file. And this is going to be your .xml file. Remember a while ago we went to our ELS and pack default. That's the pathway you want to go back to. So go to your favorites and click on whatever you save that pathway to. Okay, your XML files. Uh, take this police.xml, drag it, drop it to your open IV in that ELS pathway, and there you go. Then go back to your open IV, go to favorites, and click on replace vehicles or whatever you name that pathway. Okay. Uh, let's go back in our WinRAR and go back again. All right, uh, now we need to find a police too, which is going to obviously be a Dodge Charger. Um, so let's uh, actually, let's go ahead and open up the 2013 BMW 1200 RT. You want to grab those police B files, just the police B files. All right, and you should be on your, in your vehicle installation pathway, okay? Uh, if you, I, I, I told you guys to say this, so you should be saying, I'm not going to go back and forth and keep naming the pathways off. It's too much, it just takes too much time. Uh, take the police B files from your WinRAR, pull them in your open IV, and drop them in. Again, the ELS file in your WinRAR, double click it, go back over to your open IV, go to favorites, and go back to that ELS and pack default right here, all right, where it's, it's got all your XML files like this. It should look like this, all right? Grab that police B.XML, pull it in your uh, open IV, and drop it in, all right? Again, in your open IV, go to favorites and go back to your replace vehicles pathway. All right, let's go back in our WinRAR. Go back again. Uh, let me see here, real quick, guys. Um, I don't think we need to install anything else. In let's see what this is, Ford Expedition. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install the, th the 2013 Ford Expedition right here. Open that up. Highlight all the FBI two files. And you should be in your vehicle installation pathway and open IV and your edit mode should be on, okay? Grab those F the FBI, FBI 2 files from your WinRAR, pull them in your open IV, and drop them in, okay? Then go back to your open IV, again, favorites, and go back to your XML files right here, all right? Double click on the ELS file inside your WinRAR. Highlight that FBI 2.xml, pull it in your open IV, and drop it in. Go back to OpenIV, favorites, back to replace vehicles. All right. So right now, your replace vehicle pathway should be mods, update, time 64 DLC packs, patch date 20 DLC.RPF, time 64 levels, GT5 vehicles.RPF. Save this. I've already told you guys to save it. Please save this pathway, okay? Save the pathway. Your XML file again, so we can make sure we got it right. For your XML file should be ELS pack default. That's the pathway you should be in for your XML files. Okay, save it. Go to favorites, click add to favorites to save it. Now, let's go back to our favorites and go back to replace vehicles pathway. Okay, right here. And let's go back in our WinRAR. Go back one more time. I don't think there's anything else we need to install in here. Uh, if you guys want to come back and install like the slick top of stuff, you're more than welcome to. I'm just showing you how to install the necessities. Okay, so let's close out of this. And let's open up our CHP Mega Pack Part 2. 
and double click on that folder double click on installation files and in here uh, we are going to install let me see if a minute there's a police three we want to install the 2000 let's see what the 16 is okay let's install the 2016 Ford Explorer you guys see that open that up and highlight the police three files pull them into your open IV into your vehicle installation pathway and drop them in okay then open up that ELS file on your WinRAR go over to your favorites and open IV and click on your XML file favorites right there grab this police 3.xml pull it into your open IV and drop it in all right back to favorites and open IV and back to your place vehicles pathway guys this is a lot of back and forth all right go to your WinRAR go back go back again uh, right here guys the 2015 Dodge Charger right here okay let's open that up highlight those police two files just the police two files highlight those pull them into your open IV into your vehicle installation pathway and drop them in all right go to favorites go back to your XML files double click on the ELS file inside your WinRAR grab that police 2.xml pull it in your open IV and drop it in Go back to favorites of your open IV. Go back to your place vehicles uh, pathway. Okay, go to your WinRAR. Go back and go back again. Uh, give me one second here, guys. I want to check out, see what else we got. Uh, let's see, we got a, we did the Ford Explorer. Um, uh, let's see, uh, what was I looking at here? Ford Explorer here. That's also a Police Three. There's a Police Three. Where was that? Okay, the Tahoe, guys. We want to double-click on the 2015 Chevrolet Tahoe right here. Highla uh, open that up. Highlight the Sheriff 2 files only. Pull them into your Open IV, into your vehicle installation pathway, and drop them in. All right? Go into your Open IV, go to Favorites, and you guessed it. Go back to those XML files. Go to your WinRAR and open up that ELS file. Grab that Sheriff2.xml. Pull it into your Open IV, and drop it in. All right, go back to favorites and open IV and go back to your replace vehicles pathway. Go back to your WinRAR, go back, go back again. And let's have a look at this 2013 Ford F-350. All right, so now, as you guys can see, we just installed a Sheriff 2 vehicle. If you go into your open IV uh, and, you, and, you, and you're in the replace vehicles pathway and you click on that Sheriff2.xml right here, I'm mean, sorry, the Sheriff2.yft, the Sheriff2.yft. If you double click that and open it up, you're gonna see that you have your Highway Patrol, your California Highway Patrol uh, Tahoe in there, okay? So this is your your Tahoe, okay? Now, this right here in our WinRAR, the Ford F350 is also a Sheriff2. Now, what can we do to change this to still have it in the game? I'm gonna show you. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna change the names of these files so that then we can put them in the game, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is go to that Sheriff2.yft right here inside the WinRAR, not your open IV, inside your WinRAR. Okay, go in your WinRAR and just click that Sheriff2.yft until it's blinking like that. Now, you wanna take your cursor and you wanna highlight from the two all the way back. Don't highlight the period. Do not highlight the period, okay? I'm sorry, go back in there and put your cursor in front of that two, not no highlight it. Just put it in front of the two, behind between the two and between the period. That's where you want it. Then backspace. Alright. Now this has just been named Sheriff Y Sheriff, okay? YFT. Now, go back into that file right there. Highlight from those from the F back. Don't highlight the dot. And then right click and copy. And then just left click in your WinRAR. Left click again. And it's changed. Now, go to the next one, the Sheriff2.ytd. Highlight it. Highlight from the Sheriff2 back, from the 2 back, and hit left control V. V is in Victor, and that will paste that Sheriff in there. Left click, left click again. Go to the next one. Highlight it. Highlight it from the 2 back. Hit left control V. Left click, left click again. Go into the ELS file. All right. Highlight this one. We got to change it too. Highlight it. And then highlight from the two back. Don't highlight the dot, guys. Left control V. Left click, left click again. Now we got everything changed that we, the way we need it. So now we can put the Ford F-350 in the game, right? So go back in this area right here where the sheriff files are in your WinRAR, okay? 
and you should be in your vehicle installation pathway inside of your open iv grab those sheriff files that we just renamed pull them into your open iv and drop them in okay then go into your open iv go to favorites and go to xml files go to el go to the els file inside your winrar grab the sheriff.xml pull it into your open iv and drop it guys we are done so go to your favorites go back to your place vehicles and if you will check the police one here the police.yft it is the crown vic highway patrol car right there okay highway patrol the california highway patrol uh police 2.yft is going to be our dodge charger okay it's going to be our dodge charger oh my mistake again if you click on the police 3.yft all right that's going to be our fpiu our ford explorer right here okay it's going to be our fpiu close out of that if you click on the police b.yft inside your open iv this is going to be our bike right here okay and these are nice vehicles guys they're very very nice so what we're going to do uh you know remember which ones we installed we pull now we installed just to give you guys the recap we installed police through police three we also installed police b and we installed sheriff and sheriff two did we install an fbi two we did we also installed an fbi two vehicle which is this right here so make sure that you guys memorize that now let's go ahead and let's go to file in our open iv close all archives close our open iv close out of that get rid of these shortcuts and i will see you all inside all right ladies and gentlemen so it is show time i'm gonna showcase this car pack for you guys and if that plane comes flying in i'm gonna blast him out of here all right so now for this there is two ways you can spawn your vehicles one which is the most common way that people know how to do it is you're going to hit the f4 on your keyboard you're going to type in uh spawn if i can spell it so s p a w n and then right there you're going to hit tab space and if you wanted to spawn the crown vic you would type in police and then hit tab again and then hit enter okay and as you guys can see you can do that with all the police vehicles right here okay you can even do it with the sheriffs and i'll show you if you type in sheriff right you hit tab there's your sheriff and sheriff too you can do it like that if you do not have simple trainer you can do it like this okay uh once you've got it like that you can hit enter and it'll spawn the vehicle now if you have simple trainer uh or if you don't i'll leave a link here showing you how to install simple trainer okay if you do have simple trainer go ahead and open it up and let's go up to vehicle spawning and want to go to emergency and we want to spawn that crown vic first we're going to go to police cruiser okay all right and this is going to be stage one lighting right here stage two and stage three now keep in mind that you can adjust these lights if you don't like the way the light patterns flash you can hit uh, right control p to pull up your ELS box and you can hold down left alt and you can do one through hit one through five until they all reach 30 just like this you guys get the drift of what I'm saying if you watch my ELS video you'll see what I'm talking about because I explained all this in the ELS video okay and if you do this through all the keys I'm going to show you guys here real quick you'll see them you'll see them corona start popping here the strobes like the wigwag system and the headlights you'll see them all start popping watch Oh, I went past it. I, I cannot stand when I go past it. But I'm holding my left alt key and hit the numbers 1 through f uh, 5 on top of the keyboard. I'm just hitting them until they reach the 30. Okay? That's 4. Then one more. This is 5. I don't think you can do 6. Oh, my gosh. If I go past it. Yeah, you cannot do 6. I'm on 5 right now. So, as you guys can see, those Coronas are popping. All right? Now, that takes care of the Corona part, okay? Because these lights, these cars do not have a very fast flash pattern um, as I've noticed and I know a lot of people like their lights to flash fast all right now if you want to change the pattern on this with your ELS box pulled up your ELS box has to be pulled up in order for this to work all right you are going to go to your keyboard and you are going to hit the U on your keyboard all right and it should change okay yeah it's not changing the patterns because these are set to a these are set to the standard California well, I tell you about coming over here in my scene, man. What well, I tell you? Get out of here! Get out of here, man! Quit coming over every time I do a 
shark up uh, car showcase. All right, but you guys can see these these lights now. Keep in mind, guys, if you read the description of the of that uh, mega pack uh, where we downloaded the cars from, it will tell you there is a steady burn that takes place when you exit the car, and this is not anything that that Herc and the other two people can fix on this. Uh, they plainly stated that in the description. That's why I always highly encourage everyone to read the description of these packs or mods or whatever you're installing. Always read the description, guys. It's very important. There's important information in there. So as you guys can see, the steady burn is on, and that's going to happen when you exit the vehicle. All right? And that's going to happen with every vehicle, I believe. Now, as you guys can see, we cannot change the patterns of the main lights. I don't know if you can do it on the traffic advisory or not. If you want it on the traffic advisory, turn your traffic advisory on and hit the I on your keyboard. Yeah, I don't even think you can change these. Yeah, it's set to cal it's standard California uh, patterns. So the only thing you can do, guys, is set your Coronas. Uh, everything else is set to st standard California uh, patterns. So uh, with that being said, let's get that out of the way, and we're going to park this car <clears throat> right back here. I do have to set up for a thumbnail, so we're going to park this right here. And we're just going to leave it parked right there. Now we're going to get out. We're going to go back to our simple trainer or your console key, whichever one you're spawning from. Go to vehicle spawning, emergency, and we're going to spawn uh, police cruiser 2, which is going to be our Dodge Charger, okay? This is also going to be stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. Again, you can adjust the chronos on these by having your ELS box up. Let's go ahead and back up. For those who are wondering, uh, graphic mods, I'm using Quant V and Reshade, and for my Siren, I am using the Willen 295. I'm going to pull this up right here. Willen 295 sounds like this, guys. That's what it sounds like, all right? Let's go ahead and hop out of this. And let's go back into vehicle spawning, emergency. And this time, we want to spawn our police bike. Let's spawn our police bike. All right? This is going to be, is there a stage one? Some of these bikes don't have stage ones. Okay. Uh, what about a stage two? Any stage two? Okay, so it only has a stage three lighting right there, as you guys can see. There's your stage three lighting. This bike is very nice. I love the BMW bike. It's actually really nice. So we're going to pull this right over here. Now, if you go into first person's bike, it actually looks really cool. It's got a, a, a little map there on it, and the gauges actually work. It's got all your switches here for your lights and all that. So it's, it's pretty realistic. Um, I really, really like this pack. I, I used to use this pack ages ago. Um, one of the first packs I ever used, I believe. I'm going to park the bike right there. I'm going to hop off. Now, the next thing we're going to spawn is going to be uh, vehicle spawning emergency. And this time, we're going to spawn the FBI 2, which is going to be this one. This is going to be stage one, stage two, and stage three right there. I don't think it has any windows lights in the windows, but if you guys want, you can go to your simple trainer. Go up to vehicle options and then go down to vehicle mod menu and then go to window tint and set it from none to pure black or whatever and then just go back to none. And it'll clear your windows up so if there's any lights, it'll it'll pop them out. Uh, just make sure your window tint is set to standard or none. All right, let's go ahead and pull this one back here. And I'll spawn maybe like, like one or two more here and then uh, we'll call it. Just want to make sure I'm in line. When you get a good thumbnail, you want to make sure your cars are in, good, in a good line so you can get a good thumbnail. Okay, back to vehicle spawning, emergency. And this time we're going to install, um, we're going to install, uh, I'm sorry, not install, we're going to spawn the Sheriff Cruiser. This is going to be our service vehicle right here. Again, stage one, ladies and gentlemen. And there will be a red light that comes on the front of stage one that stays on. Stage two. And stage three. This is more or less your uh, transportation vehicle right here, I believe. All right, let's pull this up here, like so. If I can get it in line, hop out of this, and we'll spawn the last one, vehicle spawning emergency. And this one's going to be under Sheriff Two, so it'll be under Sheriff SUV. All right, this is going to be our Tahoe. Stage one. Again, the lights are on the front. Stage two and stage three. So as you guys can see, it's a very nice pack. Um, 
I, I can't remember who it was that requested this, but big shout out to you, man, uh, for requesting this vehicle pack because this is a nice vehicle pack. It's very nice. Let's go inside the vehicle and look at it. As you guys can see, it's very well laid out on the inside. Uh, we got a radar on the dash. We got a, a GPS screen right there, and we got a nice partition here in the back. Uh, there's your dash cam if you have one installed. Uh, but there you go, guys. There is your California Highway Patrol installation uh, car install pack for 2022 and for the Police Academy playlist. It's going to be for Police Academy. Uh, guys and girls, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. I'm gonna take that bike for a cruise, man. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that crown big, it looks nice.